From being the first male identifying Louis Vuitton model to wear a dress, to bizarre death hoaxes, Jaden Smith has already shaped an eclectic career for himself by age 24. A lot of celebrities don't hit the public consciousness until they get older and do something of note. But when you're the first son of two super famous celebrities, people know about you even before you're born. Jaden Smith's birth on July 8, 1998 was marked in People, which noted that another celebrity baby arrived that same exact day. Stranger Things star Maya Hawke, daughter of Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. The magazine also noted that Jaden's famous parents, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, had just married on New Year's, months before Jaden was born. Years later, on an episode of her Facebook Watch talk show, Red Table Talk, Jada recalled being able to sense Jaden's impending arrival much earlier than most parents, saying, I knew the moment after the act yeah. that I was pregnant. She went on to say that Will didn't believe her. Will, a guest on that episode of the show, agreed, remembering how he told her at the time. <laughs> I was like, babe. I, th I think scientifically you're not pregnant. <laughs> it wasn't long before Jaden joined his parents on the red carpet, sitting comfortably on Jada's hip in a fringed leather outfit at the premiere of Will's 1999 film, Wild Wild West. Though the appearance isn't even marked on his IMDb profile, Jaden appeared on an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show alongside his parents, aged just three years old, grinning at his son, who immediately reached for his father to pick him up. Yeah, he said, well, I want to do, I want to come do the movie with you, daddy. <laughs> Listening to his dad do an impression of his voice, little Jaden ran his fingers through his curly hair repeatedly, smiling at the crowd bashfully. The elder Smiths were there to promote their appearance in the Oscar-nominated Michael Mann film, Ali, in which Will played the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali and Jada portrayed Sanji Roy, the boxer's ex-wife. Ali himself also joined Oprah's couch to talk about the film on the episode, but at that point, Jaden was backstage once more. As his parents expressed when he appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show, Jaden caught the acting bug early. In his first ever role, he starred alongside his father in 2006's The Pursuit of Happiness. The film follows a homeless man who is learning to pull himself up by his bootstraps, all while trying to take care of his young son. Jaden starred as the son of Will's character, who endeavours to live a good life despite the financial circumstances keeping him down. The elder Smith wrote in his memoir, Will, that the casting almost didn't happen because the studio was worried about perceptions of nepotism. As a result, Jaden had to audition nine times for the part. Will wrote, Audition after audition, in all of his innocent six-year-old glory, he proved himself the right actor for the role. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. Not even me. Ultimately, Jaden won an MTV Movie Award for Best Breakthrough Performance. Will, meanwhile, was nominated for an Oscar. When the two returned to The Oprah Winfrey Show, they talked about Jaden's impressive ability to cry on cue. The young star had some simple words of advice to explain his acting process. I just thought of sad things. While promoting The Pursuit of Happiness in 2006, Jaden appeared on The Today Show. The young actor told Matt Lauer that he wanted to appear on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Disney Channel's hit show starring Dylan and Cole Sprouse. According to All Headline News, someone at Disney reportedly saw the interview, made a few calls, and a few years later, Smith's dream came true. He acted in an episode of The Sweet Life called Romancing the Phone in 2008, playing the son of a cruise ship captain. The character, Travis, allowed Smith to show off a special skill he had been developing, his martial arts abilities. Travis ends up giving the twins karate lessons, which, of course, would end up being a telling precursor to one of his next starring roles. A couple of years after starring alongside his father in The Pursuit of Happiness, Jaden returned to the big screen in a remake of Karate Kid. Smith told Today, My dad had the idea of remaking it. He's the one who was like, we need to make this movie. Instead of tagging along with his dad, Smith starred alongside another industry vet, Jackie Chan. 
Despite the film's name, in this version of the story, Smith's character learns Kung Fu from the martial arts legend. Smith talked proudly about all the training he had done for the role, telling Emmanuel Levy that he wanted to stay buff after the film. He said, if Taylor Lautner ever needs a stunt double, I'm ready for action. Smith's role in the film was well received. He was nominated for various awards for his performance, including a Teen Choice Award, a People's Choice Award, and an NAACP Image Award. Ultimately, the Kung Fu Kid picked up a trophy from the Young Artist Awards. The same year he starred in the Karate Kid remake, Jaden was featured on Justin Bieber's hit single, Never Say Never, which they performed together at the Jingle Ball. The song was wildly popular, appeared on the Karate Kid soundtrack, and provided the title for Biebs' 2011 concert film. Bieber told Access Hollywood's Billy Bush that the whole Smith family was very supportive, and that Will Smith had taken an interest in helping the floppy-haired teen heartthrob break into the film industry. He said, The Smith family's been really amazing to me and really supportive in everything I'm doing. Their family's just really nice and really good people. While Bieber and Will explored a possible crossover into film acting, Jaden himself launched a music career on the back of appearing in Bieber's song. He released a number of mixtapes in the successive years, culminating in a debut album called Sire in 2017. He told Complex that he viewed music, acting, and various other efforts as all expressions of the same goal, saying, Really, it's all for the betterment of humanity at the end of the day. We're just trying to get to that one world vision where everybody can be in a world where there aren't 16,000 children dying of malnutrition every day. That's really what I want to accomplish, and that's why I'm doing this. Father and son reunited on screen when Jaden and Will Smith starred together in M. Night Shyamalan's After Earth a 2013 sci-fi epic about a team of father-son astronauts who crash land on a post-apocalyptic planet, which turns out to be Earth itself. They gave a number of strange interviews to promote the project, dancing around the Scientology implications of the film's storyline. Will told Vulture, We are students of world religion. After Earth did not go well for the father-son pair. Critics focused on the same aspect of nepotism the studio had worried about with the pursuit of happiness, and the film also coincided with a narrative surrounding a significant downturn in Shyamalan's public perception. How about we make everyone think that terrorists attacked us? But really, we were all already dead. Get him out of here. Will later wrote in his memoir that he regretted the whole thing and especially felt sorry for his son. He said, Jaden took the hit. Fans and the press were absolutely vicious. They said and printed things about Jaden that I refused to repeat. Jaden had faithfully done everything that I'd instructed him to do, and I had coached him into the worst public mauling he'd ever experienced. Though the pair seemed to have made up, at the time, things were very tense in the Smith household. Will recalled that after After Earth flopped, Jaden looked into what it would take to be emancipated from his family. Ultimately, he decided against it, but it would be years before Jaden acted in a film again. Not content to simply be an actor and rapper, Jaden spent some time in his teens making his mark as a fashion icon. In 2015, he posted a photo of himself on Instagram wearing what appears to be a knee-length dress. He captioned it, went to Topshop to buy some girl clothes. I mean, clothes. A few months later, he attended prom with fellow actor Amanda Stenberg, wearing an ankle-length dress to the dance. And he kicked off the following year by posing in a skirt for a Louis Vuitton ad, becoming the first male-identifying model to promote LV's women's wear line. Though his father was reportedly unhappy with his son's sartorial selections, Jaden ultimately wore skirts repeatedly that whole year as a statement about bullying. He told Nylon, in five years, when a kid goes to school wearing a skirt, he won't get beat up and kids won't get mad at him. I'm taking the brunt of it so that later on, my kids and the next generations of kids will all think that certain things are normal that weren't expected before my time. After spending a few years away from acting, he lent his talents to a pair of Netflix projects. In Baz Luhrmann's 2016 show, The Get Down, he played Dizzy, a graffiti artist. 
and the following year, he brought his vocal talent to an anime series called Neo Yokio, in which he played the main character, Kaz. The animated show revolves around a futuristic city where magicians and demons battle in the streets, with Kaz being one of the former. Smith told GQ, I really loved it, and I loved all the fashion references because I feel like that's more necessary in entertainment because it really is entertaining. Do you really think my personal brand can handle these clothes? Your personal brand depends on these clothes. Vampire Weekend frontman Ezra Koenig, who created the cartoon, agreed with his star that the show's fashion was an integral part of the storyline. He said, There's going to be artificial intelligence in the future. So much about our life is going to change, and yet there probably still will be Nike and Polo. And a thousand years in the future, I think you're going to still have people wearing suits and ties. And I think that's interesting. Smith grew out his locks over the course of several years, usually wearing them high on his head. In 2017, he prepared to film a movie called Life in a Year, opposite supermodel Cara Delevingne. That unfortunately meant the locks had to go, and his dad did the honours. Will wrote on Facebook, sharing snaps of himself, his son, and a fistful of hair. Maybe I should have used scissors. Several weeks later, however, the locks made an unexpected return when Jaden carried the handful of hair down the red carpet as an accessory at the Met Gala, bearing a mouthful of matching gold teeth. Though many viewers of the carpet were confused, Jaden told Vogue's Andre Leon Talley that his style vibe is, quote, interesting and sexy at the same time in my own way, and that his inspiration for the outfit had been more of a Dracula look, kind of Matrix vibe. Unprompted, he explained the hair, telling the bemused correspondent, since I couldn't bring my sister as a date, I brought my old hair. The legendary tastemaker laughed and, to Jaden's credit, declared the accessory as avant-garde. After taking five years off from acting in theatrically released films, Smith finally returned to the big screen in 2018's Skate Kitchen, a movie about a group of girls who ride skateboards in New York City. Smith was one of the only actors in the film with experience, with the titular Skate Kitchen crew essentially playing versions of themselves. In the movie, Smith plays a red-haired skate photographer named Devon, who takes up with the Skate Kitchen girls and falls in love with their leader. Well, you're the only girl I ever brought up here. Really? Although he had made his career as a child star, he told ID that the film showed off how much he'd grown up. He said, I would say that this is my first young adult role, where there is cursing and, you know, just more mature things happening in this film that young adults are doing right now. Furthermore, the multi-hyphenate offered advice to other young people trying to figure out where they belong in the world, saying, Make art, make awesome things, just create, because that will really show you different sides of yourself. In addition to his acting, modeling, fashion designing and rapping gigs, Smith found the time to give some attention to charities in the past few years. He founded a food truck called I Love You, which gave out free vegan food to people experiencing homelessness. The project was launched the day before his 21st birthday. In early 2020, the food truck gave out food in Skid Row, a notoriously destitute area of downtown Los Angeles. According to Live Kindly, the truck's food was provided by Impossible Foods, and Smith's own water brand, Just Water, was given out as well. The following year, Smith announced in Variety that he planned to open a physical restaurant location. People experiencing homelessness will still be able to eat without paying, but Smith clarified, if you're not homeless, not only do you have to pay, but you have to pay for more than the food's worth so that you can pay for the person behind you. The Smith family has been public about their worries when it comes to Jaden's weight and actually held an intervention in 2019 when they felt like he was malnourished due to his vegan and vegetarian diets. Jada explained on Red Table Talk that September, We realized he wasn't getting enough protein, so he was wasting away. Will recalled that they were genuinely scared for him, adding, There was even a little grayness yeah, to, like his, to skin. his skin. Jaden objected to them calling him a vegan, clarifying that he's vegetarian, but admitted that he probably wasn't eating enough and sometimes didn't care enough to have more than one big meal. In 2021, however, Jaden was happy to report that the intervention paid off and he had gained 10 pounds. 
he said on Red Table Talk two years later. And that was a long way from where I was when I was at Coachella, where I just was just like, yeah, just like bones. Reflecting on how he looked at the 2019 festival, he pointed out that he had been proud of his lean appearance at the time, saying, I thought I was so tight. He also explained how he was able to get a more well-rounded diet thanks to a team of health professionals. I was able to work with the doctors and really um, get my vitamins and yeah. different supplements. And Jaden Smith has kept his love life a mystery in recent years. Despite never making any definitive statements about his sexuality, he has claimed on multiple occasions that rapper Tyler the Creator is his boyfriend, sparking confusion from fans. According to ET, Smith stated at the rapper's Camp Flog Nor Music Festival in 2018, I just want to say, Tyler the Creator is the best friend in the world, and I love him so f much. And I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say, but Tyler is my mother boyfriend. Smith later celebrated Tyler's Grammy win for his album Igor in 2020 by tweeting, My boyfriend just won a Grammy. Rumors later swirled around Smith and Cara Delevingne when pictures of them spending Valentine's Day together were published in 2021. He has also been linked to model Saab Zada after the pair were first spotted having dinner together in 2020 and then photographed at Disneyland and Coachella. And after his father's controversial slap at the Oscars in 2022, an inside source told Us Weekly that Zada had been a key source of support during the backlash that ensued. The anonymous source insisted, They're very much in love and talk about everything. He has shared his feelings about his father's difficult situation with her and she has been nothing but supportive and loving and there for him. Smith has been the target of online trolling over the years over his acting, his gender-fluid clothes, and his unusual tweets. And he's been the victim of one particular hoax multiple times. Social media accounts spread a rumor that he is dead and post fake headlines about his tragic passing. In 2022, for example, people started claiming that Smith had died in a car crash. Fans began flooding Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with tributes to the actor and singer, while others started questioning where the speculation had come from. Smith didn't shoot down those rumors with an indignant post proving that he was alive, however, choosing to instead tweet something characteristically confusing. Seemingly addressing the death rumors claiming that he hadn't been seen in a while, he wrote on Twitter just the word, invisible. Unfortunately, a similar hoax resurfaced in January 2023, which was swiftly debunked by Snopes. When Willow Smith performed at Coachella 2023, she decided to bring out her big brother as a surprise for the crowd. The musician initially acted as if she was having a conversation with someone who wasn't on stage, before Jaden shocked the audience by coming out and joining her for their song, Summertime in Paris. He wore a shirt with the slogan, Willow's Brother, and made it clear just how proud he was of his little sister and her success by delivering an impassioned speech where he announced how much he looked up to Willow as a person and an artist. He told the crowd, It brings tears to my eyes as your brother to see you do this. I love you so much. I'm so inspired by you. I'm so inspired and happy for what you're doing in the world and the amount of people's lives you're changing with the music that you're making. 